Hello, and welcome to the Blindfold Chess Podcast. Today we will be looking at a game from Ali Reza Farouja, who at the age of 19 is competing in his first candidates match for the world championship. He has peaked at the number two rating spot in the world and is currently sitting at number three. He was the fastest to reach the 2800 rating barrier and many are seeing him as the likely candidate to topple Magnus Carlsen and become the world champion. Today we will be looking at a game that he played in the Gold Money Asian Rapid Tournament in 2021 against Gukesh. This is a bit of a crazy game, so let's dive in. 1. Pawn to d4 Knight f6 2. Pawn to c4 Pawn to c5 3. Pawn to d5 Pawn to b5 4. Pawn to seek captures on b5. Pawn to a 6. With Ali Reza playing pawn to a 6, we are now in Benko Gambit territory, an opening where black does give up a pawn, but they try to gain a ton of counterplay for it. 5. Pawn to be captures on a 6. Pawn to g6. 6. Knight c3. 7. Pawn to e4. Castle kingside. Eight, knight f3. Queen of five. Nine, pawn to a seven. Knight captures on e4. Knight capturing on e4 is such a good move. Why? Not only are you allowing white to capture on b8 to equal a queen, but you are also putting substantial pressure on the c3 square with your queen on a5, your bishop on g7, and your knight in e4, all targeting the c3 knight, which in turn threatens to fork the king on e1 and the rook on a1. Ten. A captures on b8 equals queen. Rook captures on b8. Eleven. Bishop d3. Knight captures on c3. Twelve. Queen d2. Rook a8. Thirteen. Castle kingside. Knight captures on d5. Fourteen. Queen g5. Pawn to e6. Fifteen. Rook d1.
Bishop b7. Sixteen, Queen G three. Queen of four. Seventeen, Rook E one. Knight B four. Eighteen, Bishop B one. Bishop captures on f3. The bishop capturing on f3 is a very high-level concept. Traditionally, a bishop on an open board, like this light square bishop, from b1 down to f3, is to be preserved over a knight on f3 that is blockaded by a couple of pawns. However, the idea is a little deeper than that. By taking the knight on f3, black is threatening to close down the position and make white's bishop pair almost useless. 19. Queen captures on f3. Knight c2. Twenty rook e four. Knight d four. Twenty one. Queen d three. Pawn to d five. Twenty two, Rook G four. Pawn to C four. Twenty three, Queen F one. Knight C two. White resigns. White resigned here, but can you explain why? The black knight on c2 is threatening to capture the rook on a1. The only way to get out of that is to play bishop takes on c2. After that, the queen will take on c2, and black will have supreme pressure along the b2 square, preventing white from moving their dark square bishop. So if white's dark square bishop cannot move, and white's rook on a1 cannot move, black is just going to throw their c, d, and e pawns down the board for a very easy victory with very little counterplay from white. This was a very instructive game from Ali Reza in how to play while gambiting material. You need to focus on your piece activity and make sure it is better than your opponent's. So I hope you will join us in the next game as we continue to work on our chess visualization skills.